Hey there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Enderman, the creator of Enderman Arts Channel. Welcome to the Enderman Experience Podcast. Today's topic is all about productivity and not only productivity when it comes to becoming a better artist, but this can be valuable to any skill that you want to learn. Before we get into the topic for today, I want to introduce a man that's going to be joining me today. He's on my, my left here. He is a Guinness World Record holder. He is an expert product excuse me Bruh. he is a productivity expert my bad nishant <laughs> he, is a, he is a keynote speaker uh ladies and gentlemen nishant kasabatla thank you dennis uh very much for this i'm really looking forward to having this conversation with you mm, so how are you doing today man oh are you going to say the the speaking uh, the speaking business or what do you mean what i like i mean like how are you how are you doing today like are you good oh doing today okay <laughs> 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 doing great uh, it's early in the morning for us i think it's night for you mm. so yeah all fresh and ready for the day yeah, 10 p.m where i live right now 12 hours ahead of me it's crazy man exactly yeah mm -hmm. so before we get into the topic could you give us a little background about yourself maybe like childhood experiences maybe how like some events in your life led you to choosing this path like in productivity study yeah. habits all that stuff maybe mention your accolades your accomplishments like what is it like being the shunt Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a good question. I'll just give you a very brief uh, overview because we just get into the content uh, as, as quickly as we can. Mm. So what happened is when I was uh, very young, when I was in school, one of my biggest problems is I had a terrible memory. You know, I couldn't remember information at school. I was not doing well in school and also in my kind of social life, you know, I couldn't remember names of people. And it was a very, very embarrassing experience. Uh, a lot of times I had to experience that. What was killing me? You know, I was thinking, you know, how can I improve it? And everyone has spoke to this is I'm talking about this is way back in 1993, 94, it's pre-internet, you know, mm -hmm. you can't just Google it. <laughs> there was no Google, there's no internet. So and I was just, the, the only thing that you could do is to ask a few people, hey, you know, I, I, I seem to forget things, uh, what can be done? And the standard answer I always got from everyone is, bro, you, you just, that's it. You, you can't do anything about it. And I'm thinking, wow, I mean, is, am I doomed for the rest of my life? But what happened is slowly I started reading books and then I realized, first of all, that your memory can be improved. You can learn faster. You can remember things better. And then I learned a few techniques. And when I started using the techniques, instantly I could see positive results in my life. And uh, my goal at that time was to remember a five digit telephone number. Because back when I was staying at that time, we had a five digit telephone number and that's all I wanted to do. And when I started doing that, I could do that. I pushed myself to go to five to 10 digits, 20 digits. And then um, I came to know that there is a record in India. I was in India at that time. I live in Singapore now, but I was born and brought up in India. And there's an Indian record. There was a guy who has a record for memorizing a number consisting of 1,000 20 digits. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. And I was a person who just barely could go to 20 digits and this guy like 1000 digits plus than what I was doing. So that is when I think that is probably one of the biggest transformational moments of my life. Because when I got to know that, there were two ways of how I could look at that. Number one, I'm 20, this guy is 1020, there's no way I can do that. Or number two is I'm at 20, this guy is at 1020 and probably he was 20 at some point in his life. So if I practice, if I have the right kind of energy and uh, determination and uh, dedication and discipline and practice, and one day I can actually do that. And then I put my heart and soul into it and boom, I broke that record. And that's when I told to myself that, you know, anything in life is possible uh, if you have the right approach, the right strategy, and of course the right techniques with you. So that is how uh, the whole thing, and of course, people start asking me, oh no, how do you do this? You know, is it like something that you're born with? Or are you like, you're a genius? I said, no, no nothing like that. I was, I was lousy just a few months ago. And this is a, this is like a practice. This is like anything else, any other skill. And you can learn it, there are techniques. And people start asking me how to do that. And that is how I got into kind of a sharing mode and you know, start, slowly start getting better. And then I became a speaker and uh, I initially started with memory. And of course, I would call myself right now uh, mo more as a learning expert and a focus expert rather than a productivity expert. But still, mm. as you can see that learning and focus can actually help you to be a lot more productive in your life than most of the people. So mm. in a way, yes, I talk about productivity as well. So that's, uh, I, I don't know if that was sufficient to give the background, but mm. that's how, where it started and that's where I ended up. And now I know that, I mean, in the last, uh, I would say 10 years or so, uh, with a lot of uh, technology advancement, it's, it's given us a lot of benefits, but also it took away a lot from us, like our attention. 
Mm-hmm. So that is when you know I started you know putting more energy on you know to helping people of how they can be more productive and how they can be more focused. <laughs> quite quite the story. I like it. So why is it so important? Like why is productivity so important? Like especially when it comes to learning new skill, like um, improving your art, like, especially in this modern world that we live in. Yeah, I think great question. Um, the the way I see this is we are living in a world of distractions and interruptions mm. the statistics says you know how frequently we get distracted how frequently we get interrupted now how many times it happens to you that you know you wake up and you really wake up with high motivation that today is going to be a super productive day mm-hmm. right and then you actually set your time that you know what i'm going to start my work i'm going to start drawing i'm going to do my comics i'm going to do my illustrations everything at 10 o'clock and i'm not talking about you i'm just talking about general uh, you know <laughs> the, the people in the world uh, it happens to me as well i'm, I'm guilty of that too it happens and, to me uh, too many at, times man <laughs> <laughs> at exactly at 10 o'clock i just come to the table mm. people come to the table and the problem is they just can't start. They just go back to the old patterns. The old patterns is whatever people just get into, like things like, I don't know, social media, browsing, learning more information than actually doing it. Now, productivity is something that you produce. It's yeah. something that you create. So when you sit down and when you want to be productive, you cannot consume, you cannot learn, you got to produce things, you got to create things. And if you are living in a world of interruptions and distractions and we don't plan properly to manage that, what happens is you or people are going to be a lot less productive. And you asked me the question, so why is it productivity is important in skill building? And here's the thing, before that the premise is speed is very important. Because a person who can get something done faster is a person who can get more success in his or her life, yeah. right? So I, if I can do something in 10 minutes and if someone else can do it in two minutes, and if that person also has some magical ability to do not only in two minutes, but do it much better than someone who can do it in 10 minutes, that person is going to crush the competition. Okay. So the key strategy is there is that person, two minutes, is not a genius, he's just being more productive. He or she is just being productive. And one last thing where productive is important is not only we are living in an age of distractions and interruptions, but also we have become addicted to distractions. What I mean by that is how many times people have experienced this, you know, those of you listening, uh, you know, you, you're doing some serious project, you know, you're really uh, kind of immersed into this thing and you're really going, everything is going well. And suddenly you stop and you check your phone. There's no notification. There is no notification. And I mean, if there's notification, of course, your productivity is kind of messed up. But even if there's no notification, I've seen many times people just, they're working on it and then just, just for the heck of it, just yeah. for the sake of it, you just check the mobile phone or you know go and check your email. Why? It's because we are getting addicted to distractions and that is killing productivity like crazy. So gotta stop that. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why we need to take this concept very, very seriously. And of course, creative work, like the kind of work that you're doing or the kind that the people are listening to us right now. In creative, in creative work, productivity I think is even more important because sometimes what happens is most of the time we're in the creative mode and then because we are creators, right? So it really, you know, it helps us. But then the question is, are we really creating or are we just learning about creating? Mm. So that's the distinction. So, so that's that's the, the that's that's the reason why I would say productivity is important. Hey guys, quick reminder: uh, make sure you pull out your notebooks. I like start taking some <laughs> notes, man. Like I can't even find my pen. I should be writing this stuff down. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs>